I just had to put this little clip in here of how bad my tan lines are. <laughs> bunch of stuff to do today. I have to vacuum the house to help out my dad because we're going to get the carpet steamed tomorrow apparently because we have a lot of stains. Stains? We have a lot of stains from like various parties and stuff like that. And then ugh, I have to finish filling out some insurance information for college and then I have to tan because I have a really, really bad tan from work. Let me just show you guys. Like, bruh. Like, it's not even funny. My shorts tan is just so there. Also, so, I was supposed to work on Friday, and I just got an email that said my establishment that I work at is getting closed down for a couple days to clean for COVID. So the place that I work at doesn't have anyone with any like diagnosed cases, but a restaurant like right down the street from us had multiple cases apparently. So they're closed down temporarily. And now we're just doing it to be safe and like clean everything off for a couple days. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise because as I've already said, I am going to Mexico soon. Yeah, coronation, don't judge me. But obviously can't be sick if I'm gonna go there, can't be sick if I'm gonna come back from there. So I'd rather be safe than sorry and stay home and let them clean it off than work one more day. So also, <laughs> Along with that new COVID information, oh my god, my arm is already tired, this is just sad, but along with that information, my college just updated all of our schedules, and turns out all of my classes except one are going to be online, and that one class is a blended learning class, so it's going to be half online, half in class, maybe even less in class, I don't even know, but my dad is like, why are you going to pay to stay on campus if all of your classes are online? So that's a whole situation. And I think that's all the information I have for now. So I'll see you later. So I just finished vacuuming the upstairs of the house and I also just called a different nail salon because the other one just wasn't answering. <laughs> so we're gonna go there next Thursday and we're gonna get acrylics and a pedicure. So I'm excited. And also support your local businesses. So yeah. <laughs> now, I don't know, what am I gonna do? What do I have to do? I guess the next step is to tan. Just kidding, the next step was not to tan, it is to start packing. So I have to get my suitcase out of this here crawl space thingy, closet, whatever it is, and then pick out some outfits. So yeah. <laughs> they literally just vacuumed. That's not smart. So I'm actually going to save me packing for a separate pack with me video. So I guess we are just going to jump straight into tanning in this video. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> so 
so I'm about to go outside and tan, but I just had to put this little clip in here of how bad my tan lines are. <laughs> literally a straight line where my shorts are <laughs> and then I also have this like great tank top tan line that's a little too much boob but like oh my god my stomach is so pale compared to like not that I'm like tan by it oh my god and the sock tan is real <laughs> and then just wait for the back i think this is probably the best part yeah oh my god mm -mm. <laughs> and this is why i'm going outside to tan before i go on this trip because it's just so bad oh my god However, I've been doing the uh, Chloe Ting two-week shred. You can't see anything because my brightness is really off. But yeah, it's kind of working. Feel confident. <laughs> Tell me how I actually managed to burn my kneecaps. Like, only my kneecaps. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go in for my dentist appointment, so that's it. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just got home and dentist appointment went well. No cavities. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was interesting. So I got there and immediately they took my temperature. 98, I run hot all the time. I know this because I have to take my temperature every day at work. But uh, yeah, so that was fine. And then after they take your temperature, they actually have you like use an alcohol mouthwash for like 30 seconds. And then you either wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. And then you go sit down and get seen by the oral hygienist, I guess. And they're actually wearing like a full face shield and a mask. So, I mean, in my opinion, they're doing a good job of actually like trying to contain anything from spreading i i don't know how to describe it but um yeah and then as you leave they actually make you use hand sanitizer again i'm assuming just for like touching doorknobs and stuff but yeah so teeth are all clean <laughs> i don't even know what this vlog is anymore <laughs>